okay so in previous session we saw okay, like uh, we can serialize one object into the XML but in this session we'll be serializing the list of objects into an XML string so how do we do that first we'll be creating a list of an object so first you should check out my request class this is a class I have specified XML root XML element and that's a pretty basic stuff I got a bunch of properties decorated by XML element and this class decorated by XML root right so this is my request class so in order to create the list what I have done is I have created a list then I have created few two different objects of list I'm sorry not the request object one is Mike Rota and the other guy is Lisa Parker right and in the end once I have initialized I have added them to my list of request objects right so basically what I have is a collection of two objects one is Mike one is Lisa Parker and now let's serialize in case of serialize uh, what we have to do is uh, you have to check out my previous uh, videos where I have explained few stuff about serialized object or else you can visit this guy this guy is pretty awesome the guy has done the serialize and deserialization okay anyways so let's check it out what this method is I mean doing is you pass uh, pass this method any object either it's a list or you pass him a normal object it will get you back a normal serialized string okay so whatever the string he gets me back I'm writing down right so let's check what exactly it returns okay one second my phone so as you can see I got the XML now you say you will tell me this is not the XML but I mean depend I mean it depend from browser to browser if you check my first line and let's scroll further so you can see this is my request class I got my first name as Mike uh, I got the another name which is Lisa Parker so as you can see the whole XML is out there but it depends on the how browser renders the whole stuff okay so behind the scene we are getting this XML string okay so we are very much capable of you know serializing the list of objects now what I want is to deserialize if I want to deserialize something then what can I do in order to deal, uh, deserialize I have to stop first then I will hit control K U now deserialize something like you know I have uh, whatever the serialized string imagine generally th my main videos are all about you know deserialization why deserialization because generally you know uh, we work practically most of the time you get the XML or JSON uh, from the server using some service or some request you get some you know CLI string XML string and you have to deserialize the whole XML into the list of objects which I'm trying to do here right now the traditional approaches were like you know they used to create the XML reader from that they used to read node by node I mean there are plenty of techniques to do that but this deserialize object, uh, method is pretty awesome what this method does is simply takes the XML serialized string okay it takes a simply XML serialized string and gives you back the list of objects which are you expecting and in order to demonstrate this what I've done is once you return got the return object then obvious there is uh, you got ID you got first name you got everything back right so what I'll do is I'll first comment this guy okay and now I'll comment this guy as well because this is the parse string right one second so let me run this guy okay so as soon as I run as you can see I got my collection back right these are the objects initially I added I mean I got them in terms of an XML string and then when I deserialize them back I got my values back right so how cool is that within one line of code I will do serialize and deserialize okay this is a normal for each if you want you can try pretty basic link you this does the same thing for each i and then you can do the same thing right so you're gonna get the same result okay so i hope you got the idea of how do you serialize and deserialize uh, the list of objects my previous session was about you know uh, to serialize and deserialize only single object this is about the list okay hope that helps thank you for watching